bring him up, please put your hands together for Vince Ebert! My name is Vince Ebert, and my accent gives it away. I'm from Mississippi. No, of course, I'm from Germany. I'm a German comedian, and I'm also a certified physicist. German physicist, double the fun. First time I entered the lab at my university, I saw a sign saying, don't look directly into the laser beam with your remaining eye. I was always interested in science. When I was 10, I took my canary in its cage outside during a lightning storm just to check if Benjamin Franklin was right. He was. The bird wasn't struck by lightning. He died of a heart attack. Later that day, I peed on an electric fence to prove Ohm's law. I'm sure you all know Georg Ohm, founder of the German resistance. In Germany, it's a very funny joke. Recently, I saw the movie Angels and Demons with Tom Hanks. Right at the beginning, there's a very sexy female particle physicist who creates an amount of antimatter powerful enough to destroy a big city. Complete nonsense. I have a PhD in physics, but I never met a sexy physicist. Present company excluded. I just moved from Germany to the US for one year to make science great again. <laughs> and uh, also to perform in English because the language of science is English. Uh, it wasn't always like that. 100 years ago, the language of science was German. And if we hadn't had this little screw up 80 years ago. I could perform here in front of you in my own language. Because it would be my own country. I was born and raised in a remote village in Bavaria. I'm sure you all know Bavaria. It's like Texas without guns. The name of my hometown is Amorbach. Amor like the Roman god of love. That's why we have 4,000 citizens, but only three last names. It's also a very Catholic area, and I can remember when I was a child, I was forced to go to the Holy Mass every Sunday. Of course I did. Only once in my childhood I skipped. Three days later the Pope died. I felt guilty for years. Like a good Catholic is supposed to. I once asked my priest, Father, what did God do before he created the world? He looked me straight in the eye and said, he prepared hell for people who ask questions like that. <laughs> Science is about asking thrilling questions. Why is the sky blue? Why is the night black? Why shouldn't we eat yellow snow? <laughs> Some people ask me, as a physicist, what do you think of astrology? I tell them, I don't believe in astrology, I'm a very skeptical person. Typical Scorpio. <laughs> I 
If you ask a person to think of something positive while measuring their body temperature, the temperature will go up slightly or it will go down slightly or it will stay the same. <laughs> but the craziest thing is, with something negative, it's exactly the other way around. <laughs> Science. Thank you very much. <laughs>